this is one of the very beautiful question in stability okay from old gate only but we got like you know many mails many mails about this question hey, let us uh, see this question and i'll tell you what are the mistakes people has done a generator feeds power to an infinite bus through a double circuit uh, transmission line a three phase fault occurs at the middle point of one of the lines the infinite voltage is one per unit the transient internal voltage is 1.1 per unit and the equivalent transfer admittance during fault is 0.8 per unit the 100 mva generator has an inertia constant of 5 megajoules per mva and it was delivering one per unit power prior to the fault with rotor power angle of 30 degrees the system frequency is 50 h okay and they are asking the initial acceleration power in per unit will be okay now let us see what has given in the question in the question what they have given like you know this is generator okay and the generator is feeding to infinite bus okay so this is going to be infinite bus okay this is like you know one per unit and what they have given this is going to be 1.1 per unit okay and they are saying like you know in the middle of the transmission line fault occurred okay and like you know we got many doubts saying like you know for example with respect to this are they giving zth or xth no okay actually whatever they have been like you know uh, transfer admittance during the fault okay so some people are feeling like you know transfer admittance are okay one by admittance is impedance whatever it may be so with respect to this if, if they give okay so if the reference is with respect to this we can calculate fault current here no 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 it is like you know focus on transfer admittance transfer admittance in the sense once fault occurs here once fault occurs here across this sentence the admittance is 0.8 per unit our reactance is 1 by 0.8 per unit one doubt is solved okay and second thing is like you know okay this is one per 1.1 per unit this one per unit this is going to be impedance is going to one, one by 0.8 per unit and the next thing is they are asking accelerating power okay what is accelerating power pa equal to mechanical minus electrical one thing i have to tell you here that is like you know mechanical power cannot be changed instantaneously why <clears throat> because mechanical time constant is high for example water input tubes will be there or maybe steam input will be there how to like you know stop mechanical input power we have to close the what do you say wall how much time it will take to close the valve of steam it take more time okay electrical like you know electrical can be changed almost instantaneously because electrical time constant is very less mechanically take time so mechanical input power will not be changed instantaneously but electrical output power will be changed so mechanically is there electrically is less mechanically is same electrically is less so accelerating power will be there okay and like you know from time constant point of view electrical least mechanical highest high and temperature time constant will be in minutes or sometimes hours together also okay anyway pm is going to be one per unit only okay pm is going to be one per unit only and pe will be changed okay now next thing is like you know let us calculate pe okay now how much is pe is nothing but v1 v2 by x sin delta okay now delta delta is it possible to change delta instantaneously you know for example this is the rotor moment of energy of the rotor rotor is here delta okay so the moment fault occurs immediately can it change its can it change its position no because it is mechanical only no so the moment it's mechanical mechanically immediately instantaneously position cannot be changed so delta is going to be 30 degrees only even after immediately after occurring the fault okay so how much is v1 is going to be 1.1 into how much is uh, v2 is going to be 1 divided by how much is x 1 by 0.8 uh, is going to be 1.25 per unit so this will be 1.25 sin 30 degrees okay so this is going to come down to 0.44 per unit okay now let us calculate accelerating torque the accelerating torque is going to be how much 1 minus electrical 1 minus 0.44 is going to be 0.56 per unit okay so 0.56 per unit problem solved and now second thing is like you know if the initial acceleration power is x per unit the initial acceleration in electrical degree per second square and the inertia constant in megajoules second per electrical degree respectively will be 
okay so means in the theory we clearly explain okay for example m per unit does not mean that m in per unit but m per like you know kva per unit of kvr per unit of mva now anyway like you know they ask like you know always see electrical degree per second square okay so acceleration d square delta by dt square is going to be electrical degree per second square okay electrical degree per second square is going to be acceleration power divided by m okay so acceleration power they are saying x actually in the common data question they were supposed to take same like you know whatever we got previously 0.56 but like you know they changed the number okay ideally speaking 0.56 only is going to be the acceleration torque so sorry acceleration so acceleration power x we were supposed to take that but anyway they have given new x per unit okay so pa is going to be x per unit divided by we have to calculate m okay so m is going to be gh by 180 f okay now this is in per unit see here this is in per unit means that m actually though i'm saying m per unit does not mean that m is in per unit but m value per unit mva okay we discussed this clearly in our theory so how much is h they have given like you know 5 mega joules per mva so 5 divided by 180 into frequency is going to 50 h okay so what is the dimension here mega joules per mva mega joules per mva energy per power is going to be seconds divided by this is going to be frequency cycles per second so cycles per second so net is going to be second square okay and this is going to be electrical degree 180 degrees if i consider pi that is going to be electrical radian as i am considering 180 is going to be electrical degree they are asking electrical degree per second square only no so electrical degree per second square or second square per electrical degree electrical degree okay so one x by m will give you electrical degree by second square okay so this is going to be m now how much is m value calculate this okay so this is going to be 1 by 1800 okay so m value is going to be 1 by 1800 is going to be 1800 x okay so 1800 x now what else they are trying to ask they are asking inertia constant in mega joule second plus mega, mega sorry mega joule second per electrical degree okay in theory we clearly explained this okay for example let me calculate okay m value okay so what is m value is nothing but gh by 180f if it is electrical degree electrical degree okay so this is going to be what is g mva okay because dimensions are very important and what is h here is going to be mega joules per mva mega joules total mega joules divided by 180 degrees into cycles per second into second cycles per second like you know numerator it will come so this is going to be mega joule second per electrical degree okay so mega joule second per electrical degree so mv also we have to include okay so in m per unit g will not be there but that, that does not mean that this is m per unit but that is m per unit of mva okay so m per unit actually this is the greatest doubt like you know many guys uh, sent me like you know sir m in per unit why am i why we are getting like you know for example if i remove this here okay we are getting dimensions are not yes okay so in per unit dimension should not be there no yes but for example m per unit for example divided by g if i take okay so m per unit is not m per unit but m value per unit of mva okay so dimensions will be there okay so anyway like you know let us calculate this g is going to be 100 mva into h is going to be 5 mega joules per mva divided by 180 into frequency is going to 50 okay if you do this calculation you are going to get 0 0.056 0 0.056 okay so instability very important what are those like you know dimensions okay and we have to understand per units properly 
okay it means again let me conclude m per unit is not m per unit but m per unit is m per unit mva dimensions will be there